Ugly stick rods have been an absolute staple in almost every fisherman's rod and reel arsenal since 1976. With their 50 year anniversary approaching, however, are they still worth the buy? Find out in today's video. Alrighty, so as we will talk about here with versatility, there are many different rod models available, but the one we're gonna talk about here for the specs is gonna be the four foot eight inch rod. This is going to be an ultralight rod. The lure rating is gonna be one thirty second to one quarter ounce. Line rating is gonna be two to six pounds. It is a one piece rod. It has five guides with tip and the MSRP is gonna be about $50. When it comes to versatility, I don't know if there's any other brand that has it covered as well as Ugly Stick. They pretty much have a rod for every species. The GX2 line is definitely geared more towards fresh water. They do have a lot of other beefier rods that are meant for, you know, your big, big game, your big saltwater stuff. But in terms of the GX2s, for anyone that's fishing for trout, crappie, bass, big catfish, they come in a lot of different lengths and uh, you know actions and powers. A lot of them have a choice to go between a, a one piece and a two piece. There is a lot of versatility there. You can pretty much pick a rod for whatever species you want. The durability is the big claim to fame of these rods. A lot of people have seen a video on YouTube of a guy bending an ugly stick into a full arch, holding something crazy on the end, trying to break the rod and they can't. And those videos are not fake. These rods are so hard to break, which is why they're such a great beginner rod for someone that doesn't know how to treat their fishing equipment the right way yet. Uh, they're great for kids because, well, kids break things. Um, and just in general, if you're targeting heavy fish like catfish, a lot of those fish that will test your gear to the limits what you know what not better than a super super durable rod uh, especially for those species where sensitivity isn't really the main primary goal of the rod that will take us here into the sensitivity portion which unfortunately is the weakest aspect of the rod Guys, these are not sensitive rods. These are extremely hard to read bites on. A lot of the ugly stick rods they make are very, very moderate action, and they have a very odd bend. They bend here in the middle, like a moderate rod, but then also at the tip. So it's a very strange bend in the rod, and it's very hard to feel bites. For those guys that are fishing finesse stuff, like for bass, right, with drop shots, things where you really are relying on seeing, or you know, on feeling the bite, these are not the rods that you want to be using, but for people that are fishing like on the bank and they're throwing out bait where you're watching the fish actually hit the rod down or fish that take a bait really hard and you don't need to read these small bites, right? Um, these are a great option for that. At the price range that these rods are at, you're not going to get extreme durability and extreme sensitivity. You've kind of got to pick one in there and they definitely market these for a lot more durability. I will say, however, that there is the ugly stick elite which is a little bit higher than the gx2 in terms of models maybe i'll make a video on that one one day and that rod is a lot more sensitive even for just that extra 20 dollar bump it's a big difference uh it's still not great but it's a big difference compared to the gx2s they're both fantastic rods though depending on what you need in terms of price we're going to go to another huge pro with this rod price is coming in at around 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you can find it I mean, guys, for 40, 50 bucks, this is an incredible steal. Like, I know people that have had an ugly stick for 15 years that they bought for 30, 40 bucks, and it's just incredible. They don't break. This is an incredible investment, especially for you guys that are fishing for catfish, trout, species like that. You're going to have this rod for a very long time. And to have only spent, you know, like 40 bucks on it, it's really, really nice to have a rod that cheap. It's very refreshing to know that they people still make good products and don't charge outrageous prices for them. You can pretty much pick this up at every tackle shop, which is why it's kept prices very competitive for these, but there's really no other company that does a rod this well for $40. If I had $40 in my pocket, this is the only rod that I would even think about investing my money in. You can pay an extra 10, 15 bucks, depending on where you're at for the combo, which comes with the GX2 reel. The reel, however, I cannot speak very highly of, only the rod. The reel is really, really bad. Either way, for this price range, an absolute steal. Absolute steal. 
like I said before, if there's something that you guys are looking for a little extra right in your rod and you're okay with paying a little higher price, they do make the Ugly Stick Tiger rods, which are really nice. Those are usually your really heavy game, like big sturgeon, you know, shark, stuff like that. They do make some heavier GX2s in there as well, um, but they've got like the Ugly Stick Catfish rods. I actually have one of the Ugly Stick Catfish rods here and I've taken some massive, massive fish on these. I actually took a bat ray off of the ocean once with one of these. This is an eight foot medium heavy to give you an idea of how strong these rods are if they can take a freaking bat ray off the beach. They make a lot of rods custom to certain species, which is really cool for you guys that are targeting one specific thing. For instance, with the catfish, they really beef up the rod and they make the eyelets really nice and thick. They give you a super long, you know, uh, butt of the rod so that you can dig it into your, you know, your, to your belly as you're fighting fish. Um, and they give you kind of an oversized uh, reel slot here, which really helps for putting on those big old bait runner reels or whatever, you know, you're going to have on there. Like I said as well, the Ugly Stick Elite is a little bit more than the GX2s, and that's also a really great bang for your buck as well. But for those of you that are just getting into fishing and you don't want, you want to spend the least amount possible, the Ugly Stick GX2 is fantastic. I cannot speak more highly of this rod. Other pros of this rod, I will say um, the little the EVA foam that they put on here is pretty dang durable. Um, you will get rips and stuff in it eventually, but they are for the most part very, very strong. Uh, none of the stuff, the technical stuff down here really breaks. They make it very foolproof. There's not a lot of moving parts. They do give you a little hook keeper here, which sometimes cheaper rod you know, companies will uh, skip out on. So that's cool. Another super cool thing about these rods is they all also give you a clear tip on the top uh, about eye and a half right of rod and that's really nice uh, when it's sanding like up against the water or the bank and you need that contrast of color to be able to see the tip and what it's doing you know if there is a fish that's biting lighter this thing is very very easy to see the bites on because of that difference in color there so that's a nice little feature they added that they really didn't have to but they just decided to throw that in I do like the colors as well the black and red they've pretty much stuck with that for you know it's been a staple in their colorway, you know, color scheme for a long time. I do really like the nice thread detail they add there. Um, they do give you all the info on the rod, which is nice. Overall, it's just a fantastic rod for $40. It feels quality. It feels like something much more expensive that's in your hand. I'm not saying this rod is the best rod you'll ever fish because it's not. It's overall, it's for $40, it's fantastic, but in fishing, in general fishing equipment, it's not the nicest rod, right? You're gonna have rods that are a lot better than this. Almost every rod is better than this in some way. But for $40 to get the durability and all the features that this rod has is incredible. I don't know how they do it. I'm a sucker for a really nice expensive equipment. So the fact that I still use Ugly Sticks tells you something about their brand. If you guys want a reel that works really well with this rod, I will put two up here for you guys to check out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, learned something from it, and we will see you guys next time on Humbug Videos.